Hello guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a weekly reading for the Divine Masculine to see what energy and what they'll be experiencing of the week of the 12th of April to the 18th of April 2021. Um, to start the reading, I'm going to be using the Power of Love Oracle deck. Um, like I said, I hope you guys are well and coping with whatever situation you've got going on. And you're believing and you're trusting whatever's going on in the 3D. And you're rising above all the illusions. And seeing through all the negativity, whatever you could be experiencing. Um, and you're staying calm and focusing on yourself, giving love to yourself. Um, it's really important right now. And whatever you're doing for yourself, you're doing for your twin. Always remember that, so... Um, if you'd like a clearer message for your unique twin flame journey, just email me, it's in the description box down below. And I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel, just put it into your situation, how it resonates to you. Um, don't be offended, I do realise it's just energy. And my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading, if it resonates and you feel connected to me, um, it means it's for you. And if you do want to be more connected with me, to see me, to see my face and to know a little bit about myself and my journey, I have recently done um, a video, so it's in the description box down below, go and check that out. So let's see what's going to be going on with the Divine Masculine during this week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021. a good shuffle forgiveness you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts yeah forgiveness so this week they're going to be working through forgiveness um, forgiveness to themselves and to others forgiveness is a big part of this journey patience and forgiveness <laughs> and having compassion as well they're forgiving forgiving themselves and forgiving situations or people um, in their life in their life and the experiences maybe that they've had in their past um so they're going to be in the energy of forgiveness this week so let's see what it says in the guidebook for a deeper message um, so 53, which is 5 and 3, is 8, which is abundance, infinity. Let's see what... Forgiveness is the cornerstone of love. To be fully aligned with the power of love requires complete forgiveness of self and others. There you go. He may find this hard to accomplish because you are letting your ego be in the driver's seat. You are you're letting your ego be in the driver's seat. When you can't forgive, it is the ego holding on to past hurts and the feeling of not being in control. Forgiveness will remove old block blockages and causes of emotional distress, allowing love energy to work through you. By forgiving, you are not excusing or con condoning a particular behaviour. Instead, you are willing to understand the les lesson being presented. You are not necessarily obligated to re reconcile. You can forgive and choose not to involve yourself with that person or situation again. The saying forgive and forget is, mis is a misnomer, for you should never forget a lesson. Bless the experience, but always remember what you've learned from it. When you forgive, you open yourself up to the positive and loving experience that the universe wants to bestow upon you. Now there is room for them in the space of formally taken up by babysitting those horrible, toxic feelings. Yeah. Um, when you don't experience, when you can't forgive and you're feeling anger um, and hate and you're, look, you know, it's very, very toxic energy. It's a very toxic emotion. Um, so when you can forgive whatever situation you've experienced and you can understand why 
you this particular situation happened um this is when you do feel this peace and you open up to more love in your life and it, you just feel so much more peaceful when you can and like it says in the quiet book it doesn't mean to say that you're willing um to excuse um very hurtful you know behavior by somebody um it doesn't mean to say that you, you're saying it's okay that people can treat you badly though it's not saying that it's saying to be able to forgive from a distance allow to have you know to have boundaries um, with people with there's people that are upsetting you or you know even thoughts your divine masculine could be having bad thoughts about themselves they're feeling bad about something maybe how they've treated you or how they've treated or dealt with a situation in their past um you have to be able to take on board why you've had this experience and it was for a reason it was a lesson to help you learn and to make you who you are today so when you can put that to rest that situation or um a person that's hurt you maybe in your life when you can make healthy boundaries with that um and and from forgive from a distance that's going to bring so much ease into your life and it's such a big part of this journey like i said it's about to forgive and it doesn't mean you have to forget you have to learn by the situation um but it was and to always know that you experience something for your highest good and you have got the strength within you to forgive and to see things through the eyes of love and what we know the divine masculines are doing this now they are looking at things differently in their life um, every situation they're looking through the eyes of love and that most importantly giving themselves love now they're knowing their worth they're knowing that they deserve to experience love um, and they're not so bitter and angry of what's happened in the past their past hurts they know it's all part of their growth and it's all part of learning lessons um, and they're converting the situation into love the power of love they realize that the power of love is the answer and when you can get yourself into that place it's so it's so soothing so peaceful um and it can remove so many blockages that you have within you um so that's what the energy is going to be for the divine masculines that's the first card forgiveness towards themselves and past situations or people experiences that they've had um so that's really good because that's going to be clearing and making them feel so much more confident and um, better about themselves seeing them you know just clearing things out clearing what no longer serves them um, the toxicity of being bitter and twisted about situations and why this has happened to me why you know being angry it's just toxic um so obviously it's you know you do feel these different things emotions of anger frustration whatever but if you can feel it and then it's time to let it go um and the most important thing is to forgive yourself <laughs> to forgive yourself and once you can do that you're going to feel so much peace within your life because you're opening up to more love more love in your life um, more love for yourself and to be able to give to others as well more love um, and as I said I want to make this clear it doesn't mean to say that you have to put up with ridiculous hurtful behavior from people or, or situations make healthy boundaries but let go of the situation understand why it's happened what you learned from it yeah most importantly let it go and make peace with that situation and forgive um because that's going to unblock so many things and attract so much more love so i'm going to use the soul's journey next for the divine masculines for the week of april the 12th to the 18th 2021 so what else are the divine masculines going to be experiencing they're going to be experiencing you know in the energy of forgiveness
else are they going to be experiencing? What energy they're going to be in the week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021? Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, yeah. They're understanding, because they've been more forgiving and opening up to love, they're understanding other people's situation. They're understanding and maybe thinking about how you're feeling. Um, they just realise that it's not good to judge um, and look through the eyes of love in every situation. They're so much more peaceful and so much more... Um, comfortable than actually just always being judgmental um, and they know they because they know that they're unique they're feeling comfortable with themselves they're accepting themselves it's, this is enabling the divine masculines to look upon others and be more patient with others and have a deep understanding um, everybody's unique and everybody has their own gifts and their own qualities because they found the, their own gifts and qualities within themselves so let's see what it says. That's really positive, isn't it? We haven't had, I haven't had judgment um, come out before out of this dark deck. Sorry, it's dark, I was gonna say, deck 70. We are all spirit. We are all the same, it's the only, it's only the roles we have chosen to play here on earth that makes us seem different. The biggest lesson you have chosen to learn is love. There are so many situations in this physical dimension that is possible to incarnate into, but the core lesson is to look past these illusions and see yourself in everyone. Each soul has chosen its own struggles and your task is not to judge how someone goes about overcoming these obstacles, but to assist that soul. Spirit has given you the tools of compassion and empathy to help you see through the eyes of those who appear different. Your ego has taught you that making other people feel insignificant or inferior will allow you to feel better about yourself. That is an illusion. By diminishing others, you diminish yourself. Always learn to follow the golden rule. I will treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself, accept the lessons with love and understanding. Wow, how powerful is that, guys? They are they are realising that we are all one and we're all special in our own individual way. And the biggest lesson is about learning to love in every situation you're put in, is to always put the love into it instead of the doubt and the fear. And he made it quite clear in this guidebook about seeing past the illusions as well and that's what we have to do on this journey is to see past the illusions the obstacles the challenges you know that we think that are you know all the complications because they're not real it's just what we put in the way to make things complicated and challenging because the way we've been looking at things and the way we've been programmed before with our belief systems and the divine masculines are changing this they've changed this within them um and they've been so much more patient with themselves, patient with others, because they're seeing things differently. They have a different perception of life and a different perception of themselves and this beautiful relationship with you. Um, so they are learning about forgiveness. They're forgiving others, they're forgiving themselves most importantly, and knowing how important everybody is in this world. Um, and how important their part is as well in this world. And we did have recently about the divine masculines just accepting that they're unique and being comfortable with themselves, being proud of themselves because they're believing in themselves, which means that you, divine feminine, feminine sorry, are um, feeling the same as well because whatever you experience, your divine masculine experience, is because you're one soul. So. Um, very intense energy for the week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021. Um, so what else is, what else, what other cards shall I use for this reading? 
this is very powerful. Um, I'm going to use Wisdom of the Oracle. I haven't used one of these for a while, so let's see. Let's get shuffling. So, the Divine Masculines, you know, <laughs> they are being so much more forgiving and so much more loving towards themselves and others. What else do we need to know about the Divine Masculines during this week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021? That's come out and it's 38 which is 3 and 8 is 11 and imagine at the bottom of the deck <laughs> they're gonna be you know because they're forgiving themselves they know that you're, they're unique they've been understanding to others they're just they're being more fair to themselves they're gonna be more fair to themselves which when they've been more fair to themselves they're gonna be more fair in this situation this relationship with you they know they've got to be fair they know they've got to be different how they come towards you and how they communicate with you. And that is why you might be hearing, you know, you might not be hearing from your divine mask and you might be in silence or there's a big pause at the moment because they know they've got to be fair. They've got to be fair to you. Um, and they want to share with you who they truly are. They do want to express their love to you, but um, they've ha they, ha they, they have to have this time in preparation to get everything right because they do want to protect you. They do want to do everything right this time because they know how important it is because maybe in the past things weren't fair where you were overgiving. Um, and the Divine Masculine know how important it is to have this balance now to be able to give and receive um, love. Um, and even though you, Divine Feminists, may feel like you've overgiven and all you've done is give, 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 give to your Divine Masculine, they weren't actually receiving that love because they blocked it. Because you were blocked as well, because you was overgiving. You wasn't giving to yourself. But when you give to yourself, your divine masculine will be open to receive as well. Because you're one soul. And as I always say, when you give to yourself, you're doing everything. You're, do you're giving to your twin as well. And that's what your divine masculine wants you to do. Um, but they, they're in the energy of being fair been fair to themselves, fair to everybody around them in situations because they're looking at things differently. They're looking through the eyes of love. They've changed their perception and they're going to be more fair um, about this relationship towards you, more fair towards you, the divine feminines, because they know how important it is. <laughs> As I said, things have got to be different how they to communicate with you because they know and they feel that the fact that you are making healthy boundaries and that you aren't standing for this behavior that maybe what you've experienced before from your divine masculine because you're giving to yourself and you understanding this journey more um so let's see to be fair it's 38 isn't it like this The essential meaning is balance, justice, and need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Yeah, as I said, balance. They know how important this giving and receiving is. Um, so they are going to feel more balanced. The oracle message is life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at the moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment. <laughs> Complete judgment, isn't it? 
without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in the perfect balance. You reap what you not sow, for every course there is an effect, wondrous things will be revealed now. So, again, um, the Divine Masculines are going to be experiencing acceptance of where they are right now as well. Um, knowing that they're, they're experiencing what they're experiencing right now for a reason um, and it's helping them, even if it is uncomfortable. Um, they are understanding this now. Um, not be fighting different situations, not fighting and struggling with themselves and trying to work things out. They're more balanced in, you know, as I always say, they're more balanced, you know, they're balancing the ego, they're balancing the higher self. Um, they're not allowing the ego to take over. Um, <clears throat> they know when the, the ego is interfering and they're not being their true selves. Um, but so they're experiencing, you know, by being fair to themselves and not being so hard on themselves. Um, and balance again is about giving and receiving and they want to be fair with you. They do want to be fair with you. They don't want things to be how they were before. Um, and they're picking this up, they're feeling this energy from you as well, like I said, because you're making healthy boundaries, because you are knowing and feeling your worth. You're feeling comfortable with yourself. And let's see what the relationship message says. You can find a way to achieve fairness right now. This is the time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There's much to be learned and you will learn if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each pretty sorry, and each party feels heard, valued and respected. Be fair to all. There you go. <laughs> they are learning and experiencing fairness they know how important it is to be fair and because they're seeing things through the eyes of love this is why they're feeling this they're changing their perception on every situation of your this relationship with you and they're feeling this energy from you as well where they know it's time to be fair it can't be just one-sided anymore um and they really do want to share their love with you. They've always wanted to share their love with you. They they love you so much. Um, but they haven't been able to do this before because they've been so afraid because of how they felt about themselves and purely about how you felt about yourself because this is about you, Divine Feminines. How you was feeling about yourself because you've dealt with forgiveness, um, because you are understanding that you're unique and you're comfortable with yourself. Well, you're learning this anyway. You don't, it doesn't mean to say that you're every day feeling, oh my goodness, I'm amazing and you're dancing about. You have you have this acceptance and um, you're learning um, that you're unique. Um, and you're learning about seeing things through the eyes of love and not allowing the ego to take over and take away the truth. <laughs> You have that balance as well within you um, and you're being fair to yourself. You're being fair in the situation. You're not over giving to your divine masculines. Um, you're giving to yourself, um, which is helping your divine masculine. And that's what your divine masculine wants you to do. Um, they are here to teach you the greatest love of all is loving yourself. So powerful week, guys. Um, so they're going to be in a very calm, peaceful energy this week. Um, so let's see what the communication is. Um, I'm going to use the divine, mes divine masculine messages of love from Liz Harrison. Let's see what the communication is this week of April the 12th to the 18th. 2021. Oops, they're not going in. Masculine's love to communicate to you this week. What they love to communicate to you. 
isn't working for me today getting this shuffling done that's like <laughs> I'm sorry for everything I've done. They're sorry for everything they've done. There you go, to be fair. I'm thinking about you. They're thinking about you a lot. I find you irresistible. They find you irresistible, and this is coming up a lot recently. The Kundalini is rising when we're really desiring each other really desiring each other um experiencing this sexual sacred love making energy um so they're sorry for everything they've done and they're able to say this now because they're forgiving themselves forgiving and they have this greater understanding of why things have happened um, why they've had certain experiences in their life um they're forgiving past hurts that they've experienced um, and they really want you to know that they are sorry for everything they've done. If there is something, you might, you're the one asking why I've not done anything. But they are sorry for the situations or whatever that maybe your, your divine master has done in your journey. They are sorry, even if your divine master has still come across cold um, and you haven't, they haven't spoken the truth. Um, and they haven't actually said sorry to you. They are sorry, so don't worry or don't doubt and fear that they're not sorry because... The ego does try to do that to the divine feminines, put doubt and fear that they're not sorry or that they don't care and that they're really cold. That's not true. They are sorry for everything they've done. Um, and I'm thinking about you. They think about you the same as you think about them. They do think about you. Everything reminds them of you. Um, and they find you irresistible. So they're thinking about you and they, that's just, you know, they just find you irresistible, which is very hard sometimes to accept for the divine feminines as well because you're like really do they but whatever you feel for your twin your twin feels for you <laughs> they feel the same and they desire you let's see what my energy pots say energy my little pots say divine masculines twin flame that comes out a lot they know that you're twin flames. They have this understanding that you're twin flames. Yes. Marriage, yeah. Hmm. They understand about twin flames. They do know about twin flames, if this is resonating with you. Um, if you was wondering, if your divine masculine knows about twin flames or they do know that you're twin flames and they know that this is a deep spiritual marriage <laughs> they're thinking about marriage um or you could be married to your divine masculine already um but this is about deep spiritual marriage um they know that this is deep a deep relationship and maybe your divine masculines are thinking about marriage you know in the what we know is in the 3d um that they want to marry you they make they want to make a commitment to you they're in that energy as well um but they do know about twin flames and they know that this is a deep spiritual relationship let's see what my uh, what my divine masculine what my pots <laughs> say what they'd love to communicate what my pots say communication Ah, oh, <laughs> that's really beautiful. I want to make love to you under the stars. <laughs> they want to make love to you under the stars. <laughs> that's very romantic. They find you irresistible and they're thinking about this. Look, they're thinking about you and they're thinking about, I want to make love to you under the stars. Oops, that fell out as well. So we've got three communications today. How exciting. I love you endlessly. <laughs> They're feeling the love, guys, because they are in this energy of forgiveness, not judging themselves or judging this 
situation, this relationship, they're open to looking at, you know, they're just looking at things differently. They know that this is unique, this relationship, and they're cherishing this because they have been understanding um, and they've been so fair to themselves, and which is enabling them to be fair towards you and this relationship as well. But they find you irresistible and they want to make love to you under the stars and they love you endlessly. How beautiful. <laughs> Let's see, what else comes out then? Ah, oh, the mask is coming down. Yes, the mask is coming down. Their mask is coming down. It's, it's coming down. Um, every day you're getting closer. You're moving towards each other. And the Divine Masculine's mask is coming down more and more each day. Um, even if you can't see it yet, they're doing it with themselves. Um, when you're not being, you, you can't see that maybe, but they are, the mask is coming down, you know, they are, they are being true to themselves. They're being honest with themselves. They're seeing themselves through the eyes of love. They're taking action towards themselves. Um, so the mask is coming down. That's what they want you to know today. And they love you endlessly. And they want to make love to you under the stars. Right now I'm gonna get a card for you guys. And I'm going to use the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful, in a divine inner spirit um and what god wants you to know today what is the guidance for you this week um for april the 12th to the 18th 2021 what you need to know this week to help you support you to stay focused to believe and to trust in yourself in god and your divine masculine this week Balance. <laughs> I believe that. How many times have we said about balance, <laughs> giving and receiving? It's important to ensure you have balance in your life right now. Have a look at where you are using most of your energy and where you're lacking in energy. Ensure that you take rest when required. Try to eat a healthy diet and exercise regularly. The action to take is we all have an amazing and unique life so you know what action you can be taking right now to ensure you have this balance stop all excuses and go ahead and make that time for you if you've been feeling tired out lately take time out and rest listen to your body take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth relax be easy on yourself and the affirmation is i'm divinely balanced and i feel wonderful yeah you have to have balance in your life, guys. And I think you're experiencing more and more of this. And this week, it's really important that you do have balance in your life. Um, you've learned not to overgive um, and to give to yourself. Everything in life is about balance. Um, so it's like with anything, you know, everything in moderation, everything with balance. Um, so just make sure that you're looking after yourself and not over giving to others um, to give yourself enough attention and to rest um, because it's really important to, to have this balance this week and that's the message for you um, because this is whatever you're doing for yourself you're helping your divine masculine anyway um, and you just don't want to be draining yourself. You don't want to be, just do more, make some time to do things for yourself, do things that you love, that's gonna make you feel good. Um, Cause you have to think about yourself, think about what works best for you. Um, and this journey is about having a relationship with yourself and giving to yourself because you have been over giving to others and situations, um, but I feel that you are in a place now where you know how important it is to give to yourself, and not to drain yourself, um, and how important it is to rest, to eat, drink lots of water, to eat good food, um, to make time to, to do things that you love. 
and not keep putting your life on hold thinking, oh, I'm, I'm only going to do this when my divine masculine comes back to me. You have to get on with your life. Um, knowing you're not separate from your divine masculine. You're just both prepare, preparing, sorry, and um, that you are going to come back together. You are going to be um, seeing your divine masculine. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no need to doubt or fear. Just to know that everything is how it should be right now and the most important thing is that you have to get on with your life and your, your twin is with you anyway because um, you can feel divine masculine when you don't allow the ego to take over they're always with you because you're one soul and they're supporting you and rooting for you and um, with whatever you've got going on in your life so don't ever feel alone because they are with you um, and they do want to be with you in the physical um, this is what you're both working towards you're always working towards that every single day um, but the more you can do for yourself and have this balance and know this importance of this journey is about you um, and you don't have to worry about what's going on with your divine mask and what they're doing, what they're not doing. There's nothing to fear of anything to do with your divine mask. And even if you're having this like challenge after challenge, trigger after trigger in the 3D, you have to proceed past these illusions. And whatever you're experiencing when you're in this situation, feel it and then remove it. And know that they are illusions and don't let the um don't let the ego to get caught up in this drama see beyond it rise above it so i hope you enjoyed this reading a very powerful week for the divine masculine it's a beautiful week um and that was a beautiful message for you as well divine feminines so stay focused keep believing and calm everything's how it should be right now um believe and trust and have faith um i do think about you guys all the time and i'm so grateful that you came into my life and you're supporting me on my journey too um and supporting my channel and like i said which if you'd like a clearer message for your unique Twin Flame Journey, just email me, it's in the description box down below. And I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and love to you all. And I love you all so much. Keep believing and trusting what you already know. See ya. Oh, that's your soul.